Hi, this is Brooks, and welcome to my clutter busting video. This is uh, one of my paintings behind me. I wanted to talk with you today about how uh, how powerful clutter is and how it can trick us into thinking that we need to hang on to it. And um, I mention that because when you're doing the questioning for yourself, you really want to be there. There should be a healthy element of suspicion, you know. <laughs> Like as you're, you know, you're not thinking, oh yeah, these things I'm going to need, but you know, you really want to question, okay, do I really need this? And I'll give you an example of a, a story. Um, one of my early clutter busts about 15 years ago, I was working with this woman in her home office and we came across a box that was wrapped in, um, it was in like foil wrapping paper. And then there was a, a plastic, clear plastic wrapping paper around the outside of it. So I asked her what was inside of it, and she said that she didn't know. So I said, well, let's open you know, the wrappers and find out what's in the box. And she goes, no, 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 we can't do that. And I go, like, well, why not? And she goes, well, um, there could be a collectible inside of there. you know. And if you were to tear the packaging, um, then its value would be, you know, whatever's in the box, the value would be greatly decreased. And I said, but you don't really know what's inside the box to be able to determine, you know, what it is and what its value is, unless it's opened. And she goes, I know, I know that sounds crazy, but I can't do this because I have to, um, you know, protect the value of what's inside there. You know, and um, and and I use this as an example because that shows how powerful of a whole clutter has on this, even though. We recognize that something isn't making us feel good. Sometimes we want to hang on to it. We feel like this thing is important. And what we're really saying is that this thing is more important than us. And that's a pretty sobering thing to feel, to recognize that. Like, oh, I'm trying to defend this thing. And in the defending, like, like my client, when she was trying to defend that thing, she seemed stressed. She seemed very uncomfortable. To, to have to protect something like she was this public defender for something that she knew was guilty, you know, <laughs> but she felt uh, compelled to, to protect it, even though it was causing her um, uncomfortableness. And, and again, she was, well, she was diminishing herself by trying to protect this thing. And that's what happens. That's what happens when we find, you know, when something's clutter and we want to hang on to it. And it's important to recognize that. I mean, I use that as an example so that when you're going through your things, you can, if you find yourself in that situation, like, um, you know, do I like this or not? And you're like, oh, I don't really like this, but I can't let it go for whatever reason. You know, I spent a lot of money on it. I got this as a gift. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. You know, um, I used to like it a lot. Well, I, maybe I'll like it again. You know, but I don't like it today. That's really what it's all about. Like, I don't like this now. This thing, this situation, this person is making me uncomfortable in my life. And it's being that honest with yourself. Because you're taking care of yourself first before the rest of the world. And I think that's hard for a lot of us. We're taught, you know, we, that we come second from whatever. From, from whatever else we place value on above us. And we suffer when that happens. And, I, and I'm here to tell you that it's okay for you to stand up for yourself. And whenever I see people do that, whenever I see clients take care of themselves first before something that isn't serving them, then they come back to life and they get strong and they feel good again and they get their well-being back, which is your most valuable asset. So um, I encourage you in the process, in the clutter busting process, and I hope this um, information helps you in your search and, and good luck. And I, I um, applaud you for whatever you're doing, whatever you can do to, to take a look and see and, and remove what is hurting you so that you can enjoy your life now. Thanks for listening.